Hey Tubies, I am back today with a new video. This one is going to be about hair. Um, I wanted to share my experience on something that I have not seen anybody on YouTube talk about. And I have watched lots and lots of videos on YouTube and I haven't seen anybody yet with who had the same experience that I had. Now I'm not saying that there's somebody out there that didn't and there's probably a video of somebody who had the same experience. I just haven't run across it yet so I felt that I wanted to make this video. I was gonna make this video anyways but I feel like I had a different experience than most people. And um, I know you're like, well, what experience are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, as some people may or may not know, um, for the last year, like 15 months, I've been transitioning um, to go natural. What? Well, I wasn't really transitioning to go natural. I just decided to just not relax my hair anymore and just keep my hair and cut it off eventually over time. I never really had any set time frame if I was going to cut my relaxed ends off, if I ever was going to cut my relaxed ends off. So, um... I'm going to try to say say what I have to say really rapidly or fast because I know this video can get really long. So if it seems like I'm missing out stuff and it just I'm all over the place, I'm just trying to make this video as short as I possibly can. So back in February 20th, I believe was the date, um, I decided to go ahead and cut off all of my relaxed hair. It was not something that I had planned on doing. It was just something that ended up happening. My husband went and he cut all my relaxed ends off. Um, and I was so happy. Like, um, I was really relieved. And by the way, I must say, there was no tears. I wasn't emotional about it. I was ready. And I didn't even know I was ready, which is weird because I told myself I was never going to cut my relaxed ends off. But when he cut my ends off, I was happy. I was like, yeah, I'm natural. I'm about to rock these curly hairstyles. I stayed up all that night that... He cut off my relax ends up watching all these natural videos on how to do wash and goes and twist outs, all these things. I was ready. I'm like, yeah, tomorrow I'm about to get it in and we about to be rocking it. So, um, he cut off my relax ends off and I will insert a picture of what my hair looks like. And so I washed my hair and I went to bed because he cut my hair like 8 o'clock that night. So the next day I woke up and I was like, well, what the hell do I do with my hair? I've never had... Well, I've, I've been natural two other times in my adult life, but both of those times I did not know anything about taking care of hair. I didn't care about my natural hair. I was just getting it straightened all the time, and I was not worried about my hair. Um, so this was the first time that I embraced being natural and wanting to actually wear my natural hair out in its natural state. So, of course, I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hair. I didn't have any products or anything like that to go with being natural. So I just flat ironed my hair and I wore my hair straight for like three or four days. And I noticed when I had flat ironed my hair and it was straight, my ends were a little dry and I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. So I baggied and I did things to make my hair moisturized. So long story short, when I went to wash my hair out, it was super dry, super, super dry. Like when I'm saying dry, it was dry, 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 dry. And I could keep saying dry for like five more minutes and it still wouldn't give the dryness and it still wouldn't be able to explain to you just how dry my hair was. So I was just like, okay, what the hell is going on? So I tried to like put products on my hair, like the Eco Styler Gel and things that were for defining your curls. And nothing was working. Like it was just sit on my hair and it didn't feel like the product was um, being absorbed into my hair. Like the product was just sitting on top of my hair. And I noticed like even when I would wash my hair, my hair was dry. Like who has wet, dry hair? Me, this girl did. So I was just trying to figure out, like, what the hell the problem is. And, um, I must say, when my husband did cut my relaxed ends off, my hair was probably, my hair is was about to here. So, anyways, moving on. My hair was super dry. Like, nothing was working. So I went to a salon, and I talked to a girl. She didn't touch my hair or anything. She just looked at my hair. And she was like, you know, you probably just need to go and clarify your hair and then do a, a moisturizing conditioner and stop doing protein. Because I was doing protein treatments because it was, like, for dry, damaged hair. Because that's what I felt my hair was. It was dry. It was damaged. It didn't matter what I'd put in my hair. My hair was still dry. I tried to style my hair, but it didn't work out because when your ends of your hair are super dry, nothing thing works. But before I went to the salon, I cut off. Like, because I would comb my hair and it would be fine until I got about to that last inch and a half of my ends that were super, super dry. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to cut off those ends and be done with it. So I cut those ends off thinking that, okay, now I'm ready to go. My hair was still 
super, super, super dry. I mean, you could hear it. It was, and nothing was working. I used oils. I used moisturizers. I used gels. I used all kinds of things, and nothing was working. My hair would still be dry. Like it would be fine for like the first 10, 15, maybe a half hour to an hour, and then after my hair dried, it was back to right being dry. Like I never put anything in my hair, and I had never experienced this before. Like I have dry hair, but I've always been able to just put something on it, and it would be moisturized, and I'd be good. But that was not what was happening in this case. So. I went to the salon and she told me to clarify my hair and to do a deep moisturizer, a deep moisturizing conditioner with heat. So I did that and I'm, no, it was still, still very, very dry. So the next day I went to Fantastic Sam's just because I felt like I didn't want to pay $80, $100 for somebody to do something to my hair and it was still going to be dry because I felt at this time nothing that anybody I did or was going to do was going to change my experience of my hair like it was just damaged in my opinion so I went to Fantastic Sam's I worked with an African lady and she was like you know your hair this is just your hair and I'm like you know I remembered my hair before when I was natural those two other times and my, the texture of my hair was even different like I have coarser hair it's not extremely coarse but it's coarser kinkier and the hair that was on my head was loose but not really I just, I don't know what the deal was. But she was like, you know, you have really fine hair and it's just, this is just how your hair is. And I'm like, okay. So I was really disappointed, to say the least. So she did a, she washed my hair and then she did a, a, um, a Mazzani conditioner on my hair. Because, you know, she was like, our conditioners are better than the ones that you can buy in the stores. It's going to work on your hair. And I'm like, whatever. Um, I know how you stylists are. Y'all think y'all know everything. So she styles my hair. Puts me under the, the dryer and stuff. Washes it out. And she's just playing with my hair. And she's like, I just think this is how your hair is. And I'm like, I know my hair. And, you know, I couldn't tell her anything because she's like, I'm a hairstylist. I've been doing hair for a long time. I know hair. And I'm like, I'm not saying you don't know hair. Because obviously you do. You know more than I do. But I know my hair better than you know hair. So don't try to tell me about my hair. I didn't say that. But that's what I was thinking in my head. I'm like, okay, whatever. Just do what you got to do so I can get the hell up out of here. So... I had her cornrow my hair into eight small braids because I can't really braid, but I can, but not like how she did it. And I wore my hair with those braids in my hair for about three days because I didn't have anywhere to go. And I had the intentions of taking it down and going and rocking a braid out. But I already knew before I even took those braids out just with the three days that it was going to be a mess because those ends were super dry. And I kept moisturizing it. I put Vaseline on it because I figured Vaseline will soften anything. No, that is not the case. It was still super dry. So I took the braids out and it was dry. It was dry. I wore my hair in that style, but I knew it looked like a hot ass mess because it was dry and it was frizzy ass hair. But I still wore the, the braid out because I'm like, I'm not going to let this hair get to me because it already did. I've already at this point been natural for about two weeks and I've already had my meltdowns. I've already did the crying and all the other stuff. And so that day when I took the braids out, that's when I had my F it, I'm over this moment. So I wore my hair out like that that day, and I told my husband, I said, when we get home, because we were out and about, you're cutting it all off. I don't give up anymore. So um, he was like, okay. He knew I was at my limit because I had been crying over this, and this was not something that I thought was going to happen. I thought I was going to be natural and curly and beautiful, and I was going to be loving life, and everything was just, the angels were going to sing and everything. And that's just not the experience that I had. And, um... So he cut all of my hair off, and this is what I have left. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of hair compared to when I started. I lost a lot of hair within a couple of weeks. Um, and I was okay even when he cut that hair off. I didn't cry, because at this point I was over the whole experience. I was over the hair. So he cut it off. And this is what I have left. Um, I think like after the third day of my hair being this short, I went and had it shaped at a professional barber shop. And because even when he cut the hair off, all of the hair off, and I was with this, it was still dry. And I'm like, what is the deal? Do I have to go to a low fade? I was because I was trying to keep as much hair as I could. Because if I had to go to the fade, I would have. But um, I was just at that point, like, whatever. So he was like, just go get a shape because it did look a little crazy. Like this side was a little longer and blah, 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 blah. So I went and got it shaped and he, I don't know what he did. He must have went in and just cut off the very tops of my hair because he didn't really cut my hair. He just shaped it. 
And ever since then, my hair has been acting fine. Like, the sides of my hair are still dry, but they're nowhere near as dry as they were when I first originally went natural. Um, I can manage my hair a little bit better now. Um, it's, it's not dry like it used to be after I went and had it shaped. I don't know what the deal was with my hair. I don't know why it was so dry. Only thing I can think of was that it was just damaged hair from me straightening it when I was transitioning or when I was, you know, we still have my relaxed hair on because I straightened my hair about twice a month, which to me wasn't a lot of heat because I still deep conditioned before I um, washed my hair. I used heat protectant. I was very careful about it, but and it didn't seem like it was damaged ever when I was had my relaxed hair. I felt like I would have known if it was damaged or not, but um, I don't know because even sometimes my hair still feels like it gets dry and I'm always just expecting it to be like it's just super dry. I mean, it is very dry and I still have to work at keeping the moisture levels up, but I'm Working on it, I feel like maybe I just need to train my hair and get it used to being in its natural state. Maybe my hair just went in a shock. And um, I don't know what the deal is. But that was my experience. So I feel like I wasted a year, almost a year and a half of my life because if I had known that I was going to end up with this short amount of hair, I would have just cut my hair all of my relaxed ends off back a year and a half ago when I first decided to not relax my hair anymore because... I still ended up with no hair. But it's all good because I know it's just hair. It will grow back and it will be fly and beautiful and fabulous. So I'm not really too worried about it. But, you know, thanks for watching my video. And if you have any comments about my experience or do you know anybody that had similar comments or an experience like me, please let me know. Comment down below and uh, let me know how your experience was. And um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.